Well, David Harwich, congratulations. Oh, thanks very much. Can you explain for us what Null Basic is and what it does mean for HIV research? Sure. So Null Basic is a, a, a mutant form of an HIV protein. So we took a normal HIV protein that HIV needs to grow in the cell and we changed it. We made you know, successive mutations and studied it. And so it's actually an HIV protein. And what we found is when we put this into a cell, it stops the virus from growing. So you found a way to use HIV to beat HIV. That's exactly right. So, you know, some people say it's like fighting fire with fire. And I'm not sure that's quite correct, but it, it gets the idea. This is just in the lab at this stage. Why are you so confident? Well, uh, it stemmed from several years ago. Um, we had been working on this protein for, for quite a while and had some moderate success, but um, we weren't quite sure that this was going to be a protein that, that we'd follow. And so I designed an experiment and gave it to a PhD student. And I told him to test it in the lab and he came back and said, wow, it really worked. And so I had him do it again and again and again. And to my surprise, it worked each and every time. And it didn't just work a little bit, it worked really well. So we knew we were onto something. So you're in fact using more of the virus than a person might have in their body in these tests? Well, in total concentration, yeah, in a lab, in a laboratory setting, we, we put quite a bit onto uh, some human cells. So if there's any chance to um, cause an infection, it will happen in, under these conditions. What would this mean for a patient? You'd still have HIV, but it wouldn't become AIDS? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, the, the, the goal is, of course, um, in medical science is to lim eliminate HIV infection from the body. And there are scientists around the world working on that today. So we're taking a slightly different approach. So a person who's already become infected with HIV would receive this um, therapy as a form of stem cell gene therapy. You would actually receive your own cells back. And then what we anticipate is that this would reconstitute an effective immune system to protect you from infection. And it's these opportunistic infections that bring on the hallmark, hallmarks of AIDS. Yeah. So gene therapy is the way you're going? Yeah, we're going down gene therapy. So that was published in just this month in the Journal of Gene Therapy as our, as, as our basic approach. Can you take us through what happens next? The stages, the trials, and also the time frame? Right. Well, it'll be, it'll be still uh, quite a few years before we're, we're ready to try this in, uh, in a human trial. At the moment, we're about to start a, a mouse model. So these are called humanized mice. And, and we can really, with that model, we can mimic what might happen in a human to a certain degree. And uh, we can model different uh, types of HIV disease, acute infection and chronic infection. And we can see whether this stands up to those, um, those tests. And after the animal trials? Well, then we need a lot more money because uh, these initial trials are, are expensive in the, in the order of hundreds of thousands of dollars. But then if we were to go to a primate model, then you would need you know, millions of dollars uh, to get that done. So one step at a time. 30 years you've been researching HIV. Did you ever want to give up? Almost 30 years, but not quite. I'm not that old yet. Um, well, no, I never wanted to give up. <laughs> Uh, it's perseverance. That's what science is about. You know, science is 99.99% failure. And so I think scientists get used to that. So you just keep your eyes open for the, for, for the unusual event, you know, something that works really well. And, uh, you know, and we're very fortunate now that we have um, a bit of funding and we've had some success in the lab. Has this research re-energized you, though? Oh, the whole lab is very, very excited. We're all optimistic that we're onto something and everybody's um, working really hard right now. Understandably, a person living with HIV is taking both some comfort from this and feeling slightly skeptical they may have heard it all before. Is there anything you'd like to say to someone who's living with HIV? Uh, well, look, the antiretroviral drugs work very well. Um, uh, what we're hoping is that in the future, and there's no guarantee, that we can offer a replacement for antiretroviral therapy. But it's going to take time. So all our preliminary experiments say that we are onto something that has a chance, has probably a good chance, but it's not a 100% chance. So just have to hang in there with us and we'll let everybody know if this works. David Harris, thank you and good luck. Thank you.